The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Championship Wrestling from Arizona. I am Jeremy McPeak. This is Dan Joseph, and we are on the road to the Grand Canyon Clash. But today, Dan, we've got a huge main event. Huge main event. You're going to see me in action as Dan Joseph, your United Wrestling Network television champion, Dan, 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 defends the United Wrestling Network belt title against Watson in the main event. And of course, we've also got a great tag team match, the pair of legals against the agents of chaos. And in your main event, I'm defending the United Wrestling Network television championship. Oh, you already said that, but let's get things started. We are here with championship wrestling from Arizona. Woo! First ever last call match here in Arizona. Mike James has always been about violence, but it has been nice to see him learn a little bit more about skill and about the game of professional wrestling. Oh, look, mic time. There's absolutely no way to sugarcoat what I'm about to say. Uh oh. I was recently offered a very large contract to go do dangerous things in a foreign country. Really? And I signed it. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Exactly. I'm bringing them the sick house virus. That's the cure right there. But it's important that every single person in this room, every single person watching on Fight TV, every producer, and every wrestler in the back, I want you to know one thing. I didn't have to be here today. I didn't have to get in my car. I didn't have to drive down from Skull Valley. I didn't have to put on my gear. I didn't have to lace up my boots. I did not have to be here today. I wanted to be here. I like that. No matter where this world takes me, no matter what opportunity gets thrown in my lap, in my heart and my soul, I am a pro wrestler. I'm here for one last fight. There you go. All right. I don't care who, just send them. Man, look at that. How about that? Well, Mike James getting a big contract overseas, he said. Doing dangerous stuff. I wonder if he thinks it's dangerous, what it must be. Oh, Dan. It's your guy. Oh, I got a lot of guys. And here's here's the one point. of my guys. Hitting every lounge in town, weighing in 200 pounds, Frankie Frank! Whoa! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Thought we were going to have Frankie Frank. Man, all eyes are on it. Frankie Frank, and, and it don't matter. But Mike James is attacked by LJ Ramos. What's he doing here? Wow. Why, why do this? I don't, I don't understand. That's what it was. Ramos, he's, he wants to like send a message. I mean, whoa, he's whoa, went, whoa, whoa. He's very unceremoniously tossing out Miracle Mike. Dropping Mike James like a bad habit. Man, oh man. I mean, you remember 
Ramos said he was going to do something unforgettable. I guess this is it. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Man, knees first into those oh. taps. Mike James may not make it overseas for this new contract of his. Yeah, I hope, I hope whatever his new job is, it doesn't include walking. Man, this, this isn't a match. Yeah, this, this, this is, is just an attack. This is, something, this is something that we should really have people maybe come out and stop. Yeah. Because this is just yeah, Anybody dangerous. in the back there can hear us. There's no referee to stop this. There's nobody to do anything. This is just one man taking out another man. I don't know where Frankie Frank went either. Is he hitting another one of these? No, 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 no. No, you can't do th no. No, you can't do this on the on the concrete of the Nile Theater. No. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no! Oh. Wow. Right there. That's it. Bad ring this bell. Get people out. Oh, Stop my gosh. That. Come on. No. Mike. Don't move. Get him out. Enough. That is just that is just vicious. That is just what is wrong with him. Wow. And there we think, here we think that it's going to be Miracle Mike James against Frankie Frank in his last match. And LJ Ramos just attacks. Mike James from behind, sneak attacks. Didn't see him come and laid him out. And then here, outside, shot. throws him outside the ring and then just drops him. You saw the way his head, you saw the way Mike got planted down at the oh, ground. I mean, this is very, very dangerous. There is no give on that hard concrete floor. Somebody needs well, to we got call some an ambulance. Movement. His hands moving at least. Oh my goodness. Mike James may not even make it to China. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to take a quick break, but we'll be back with Championship Wrestling from Arizona. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed $87,000 in taxes. But listen. Your tax problem is settled. You only owe $3,500. What a great message. I owed $11,000 on my taxes. But now, congratulations, you only owe $2,068. How's that sound? If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Even if you are already at the point where you're struggling with levies and garnishments, let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. We owe the IRS $48,000. But check out what we actually paid. Are you sitting down? You only owe $3,571. Call 800-715-7197 or go to tax10,000.com. That's 800-715-7197. If something happened to you, what would happen to them? Their home, their education, their future. You need life insurance. And chances are, SelectQuote can help you get it for less than a dollar a day. Select Quote found Jacob 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At Select Quote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. We found Gary 35, a $1 million policy for only $22 a month. Why pay more? Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Call 800-216-0389 or go to selectquote.com now and get the insurance your family needs. At a price you can afford. Select Quote. We shop, you save. All right, folks, John Roberts here alongside Arizona State Champion Ray Rosas. And Ray, would you care to explain your actions of late uh, attacking EJ Sparks specifically? Well, I, I, I don't care to give you my explanation. Let me tell you that I am surprised that EJ Sparks was smart enough to even deduce that it was me that did it. It's kind of frustrating, honestly. 
but it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that I am the Arizona state champion. And I would do it again if I had the chance to attack EJ Sparks and take my claim on the top of the mountain in Arizona. So here we're coming up to the Grand Canyon Clash and we're, I'm without an opponent. They asked me, who, who would you like to wrestle, Ray? Who's it gonna be? I don't know, who cares? Accompanied to the ring by a pair of legals, he is the acting deputy matchmaker, Zelino Barnes. The confidence coming from this team right now. Eagle, Magula, Mr. Classic, both got big singles wins recently. Huge wins. But Speaking uh, of huge things, they have a huge backer in their corner, Salino Barnes, one of the biggest men in the business. I think he's got his big announcement here today. I'm afraid to hear what this is. A bear of bad news. Now, if you all would excuse me for a moment, I have a very, very special announcement to make today. You're quitting. Next month, right here at the Nile Theater, we here at Championship Wrestling from Arizona will bring to you the Grand Canyon Clash. And as your deputy matchmaker, I've got a couple of matches you might be interested in. I'm thinking the Highwaymen will be taking on the Baines Coalition of volunteers in a tag team contest. Ah, wow. that'll be a good match. Be nice to see that rematch. Oh, for sure. And you know what, you know what guys? I think I'm gonna bring back Ruby Rays to oh. face Morgan. Ooh. Oh, another rematch. Man. But wait, 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 wait. There's one more match I know you're all gonna love and it was really my idea, my idea. We're going to put a steel cage around this ring and we are going to give you the tribe versus the keepers Wait. of the faith did, did in a steel cage right here at the Nile Theater. The You're welcome. Ask for that match? Maybe, but he allowed it. As good as his idea. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boy, you know whose music that is. Oh, he's dope. R3, the most recent Arizona State Champion in my mind. Of course, uh, collected the bounty on the title himself. Turned that in for the match of his choosing. I mean, these guys were dangerous before. Our three now, ridiculous. And this new Evan Daniels is unstoppable almost. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I know you were just about to announce R3 versus Peter Avalon, correct? Oh. Go ahead. That is that is the match he asked for. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't talked to uh, Peter in a while. So, uh, Mr. Three, I really, I, I can't do that. I can't confirm that right now. I can't do that. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Peter's, Peter's very busy at the library. I can't. What do you mean he has a talk to Peter? But He's the matchmaker. He's making the matches. Not Peter. You, you want me to make a match? You want me to make a match? 
I think we can make a match for you and you right now since you interrupted my time. And I'm thinking the agents of chaos against the greatest, most dominant tag team in Arizona history. The pair of legals. Come on. A <laughs> little bit of a mixed Wait reaction a from the crowd, both in and out of the ring. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get me a ref. Get me a referee. Wow. All right. Who, who's the ref? Who's there we go? It's, a, it's official now. We got a match going on just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this match will start right after this commercial break. Stay tuned. Pulaski Kirker sponsors this paid advertisement for legal services and is responsible for legal services. Have you or a loved one been diagnosed with cancer after using Zantac or other heartburn medicines for several months? You may be entitled to compensation. Call 800-234-2169. The FDA has warned that Zantac and other medications containing the heartburn drug ranitidine may be contaminated with a cancer-causing agent. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with cancer after using Zantac or other heartburn medicines for several months, call 800-234-2169. This is important news for people who have taken Zantac or its generic ranitidine and then suffered from cancer. Zantac and generic ranitidine have been linked to cancers such as bladder cancer and kidney cancer. According to the FDA, Zantac and ranitidine contain NDMA, a known cancer-causing agent. NDMA has been linked to cancers of the bladder, kidney, colon, esophagus, liver, ovaries, pancreas, and other cancers. If you or a loved one took Zantac or ranitidine and were then diagnosed with cancer, call the lawyers at Davis and Crump right now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call the lawyers at Davis and Crump right now if you or a loved one took Zantac or generic ranitidine and were then diagnosed with bladder cancer, kidney cancer, or any of these cancers. Call now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Our first consultation is free, and we don't get paid unless you get paid. Call Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at the world-famous Nile Theater in Mesa, Arizona, on the road to the Grand Canyon Clash. And we've got a big tag match right here, the pair of legals versus the Agents of Chaos. You've got to keep moving. You're not going to be able to outpower R3. Trust me, I know from experience. You and R3 stepped in there for a, a title match for your United Wrestling Network Television Championship last month. Yeah, he's so big. I mean, not only his strength, but just his height and his reach. You think you can get away from him, or maybe you're going to go around him, duck, and you, he just picks you up like that I mean, and just throws you down. Oh, look at the mount, ground and pound. Oh, big headbutt by R3. Yeah, that is not where you want to be, is underneath 333 pounds of ruthless aggression. Oh, I don't think you want R3 stepping on your chest either. Mr. Classic's going to be feeling that right. for a little while. And like, what's the what's your move if you're the paralegals? You try to keep our three in there and beat him, or do you let Evan Daniels come in and stare at you until you tag out? I, I don't even know what you would do to beat these guys I right think now. your move is you head to the back. Just call <laughs> it a night. Give somebody else your mask and move on. You know our three is not happy. He turned that belt in, he turned the belt in, collected the bounty, and just like Mr. Barnes said, anybody who could collect the belt would get the bounty and would get any match of their choosing in Championship Wrestling from Arizona. So R3 has chosen his match. He wants a match with Peter Avalon. I mean, it might seem weird. It's a little weird to me. He had the title, unofficially though it may have been, he had the title, and yet he wanted to, he would give that up to get his hands on Peter Avalon. That's, he that's hates, how much he hates him. I, he, I know, it's weird to me, because I don't hate that much, but he hates Peter Avalon. Ooh, oh, big drop kick by the legal eagle. Teamwork. One. <laughs> Aguila got, close. is that even close. a one count? Oh, is that a half of a one count? It's so insane. When you're in there, you don't notice it. You don't feel it, just watch it. But when you're in there, and you kick him, and you try to move him, and he just doesn't budge. It's, 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 it can be very yeah. demoralizing in there. 
Especially when he gives you one shot and it's that. Well, listen, I don't, I don't blame R3 for, for turning in the title. He, he was being attacked everywhere he turned around. Somebody trying to get the belt off him, collect the bounty. And then, of course, Salino Barnes is saying he's not the champion to begin with. He voided the title. So, yeah, he wants that match with Peter Avalon, somebody that's been a thorn in his side for, gosh, six months, eight months, a year. Yeah, well, I guess if you're going to look at it all logically, you can come up with reasons. He'll get another shot at the title. I'm sure of it. And again, oh, oh. There, I don't know if I'm poking <laughs> the bear. I don't know if I make that maneuver. I don't want... I don't want Evan Daniels in there with me too often, let alone angry at me and in there. Aguila taking a shot at Evan Daniels, then straightening his tie. He's got to look good for this big match with the... Oh! Ooh. Big clothesline to the back of the neck of R3. He's One, going for two. That man, man. R3 able to just throw off paralegal like that. Man, just... I mean, we've seen both these guys recently in the last few weeks. Well, last week it was. Just get victories, wins, big wins in singles competition. Yep. They got to get it together. And man, what a test coming up against these two agents. Big shot Ooh. to the midsection by R3. Another one and another one. Yeah, it's a rib breakers there. Ooh. Right hand. You know, under that mask, Aguila is showing a little bit of, a bit of discomfort. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is such a big... Oh! Big splash. Man, if he cooks a leg there, this match might be over. But sometimes... Sometimes R3 likes just being in there, causing a little more damage and destruction. We haven't seen Evan Daniels yet in this match. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> there he is. You're right. Uh, you are right. Ooh, holding on. Oh, 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 getting out of the way just in time. Wow, oh, man, that suplex again. Big snap suplex by One, R3. Two, yeah. Man, R3, he just takes you all the way around on that suplex so fast. Tossing an illegal eagle around like a, like a Peter Avalon sized workout doll here. That's true. So maybe it's Peter Avalon under the mask. Huh? We haven't seen him in a while. He's been on sabbatical celebrating the uh, grand opening of the Ooh, Peter the Avalon Memorial Library. Ooh. I mean, do you have to be dead to have a memorial library? Uh, one, two. Not. Wow. Big one there. I don't think I've seen a lot of memorials for people. Anyway. Even, look at that. The hits, the shots. Usually when there's a grand the opening, counts, And then still R3 right back up to his feet. Yeah. Usually a grand opening is like a one-day ceremony, too. I'm not really sure why why Peter's been gone for months, but... So it's, this opening is very grand. Man, the ease that he can just pick people up. It can be disheartening. Aguila off the ropes. Whoa! Oh! When, oh. Ah! Nope. Too darn big. Nope. Just. Oh. Can he capitalize? Can he get the tag or the pin? Look at that. Man. Aguila just trying to get to his corner. He was spiked so hard he would have been underneath the ring if it was any harder. Whoa. Whoa. Mr. Classic reaching for that tag and... Falling in, they don't All over the ring. Oh, I don't know if the referee's gonna see this. Letting it go. Nope, there it is. Uh, referee didn't see Dally it. Alley didn't see it. There oh. was a tag there. <laughs> Great. Look at that. Kind of, kind of clearing them out. Same as there. They get their five seconds. Come on. He ma he made that tag, Dan. He That's did. That's not right. He did. You're right. But you know who else is right? The referee. Because she didn't see it. You're both right. And technically, since the referee didn't see it, she's right. And that's the best kind of being right. All right. Well, referee Ali Cali, uh, of course, the first female referee in the history of the Wrestling Network. Wow. There There's it is. The power by R3. And he makes the tag. This time she saw that tag. Tossing him around like a sack of potatoes. Evan Ooh. Daniels. One hand power. 
from Evan. Wow, running clothesline and another one. Whoa. Splash one after another. The pair of legals. Uh oh, here comes that big drive in DDT. Oh. Man, what a shot. Ooh, ooh. And nothing. Mr. Classic with the big knee. Oh! Huge backstabber. Talk about knees. Oh, no way. Come oh. on. Oh, Mr. Classic's eyes rolling into the back of his head as he rolls out of the ring. I mean, that's just using your one arm to pick up a whole human being like that. Man, just all upper body strength. No legs in it. Uh-oh. Speaking of upper body. Oh! I think that's gonna do it. A 10 that count. count. What do you want to go to? Yeah. Four, five, six. Your winners of the match by way of pinfall, the agents of chaos. Dan Joseph, take us through the replay on that one. I mean, you saw it. You saw that huge Uranagi over the rope from R3, just taking out the competition and then in for that power bomb. Look at Nobody. Nobody is getting up from a powerbomb like that from that man. R3 telling Salino Barnes that he wants Peter Avalon. We gotta go to break our main event. What is that? What's our main event? Pretty sure it's uh it's a United Wrestling match. And it it's is. coming up! You just took your pants off. I sure did. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Championship press of Eric So. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks, and if you're struggling with an IRS tax debt of $10,000 or more, I want you to call my friends at the Tax Defense Group. They recently turned a client's $100,000 tax debt into a refund. <laughs> you gotta love that. So call the Tax Defense Group now. They'll give you a 100% satisfaction guarantee, and they're open 24 hours a day, because tax debt doesn't sleep either. Call 800-972-4716. That's 800-972-4716. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got MyPillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented MyPillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. Call or go online to order MyPillow Premium and Mike will give you a second pillow absolutely free. Use the promo code on your screen to get two MyPillows for the price of one. Don't delay, order now. With our 60 day money back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Thank goodness we weren't home. I mean, who knows what would have happened? In your home, you should always feel protected. Call now to receive a complete home security system, including monitoring, starting at just $27.99 per month. Get the protection you deserve with 24-7 fast response. The next 25 orders receive a $100 Visa gift card. Call now to receive this complete home security system and your $100 Visa gift card. Don't delay. Call now. Hey, AZ Crazies, John Roberts here for Championship Wrestling from Arizona. And coming up in just a few weeks, the Grand Canyon Clash, the huge blockbuster event. And at that event, huge main event for the blockbuster Grand Canyon Clash, a steel cage matchup. This has blood written all over it as the tribe take on the keepers of the faith, and they're going to be locked inside a steel cage. But right now, we're going to take a look back at a past Grand Canyon Clash matchup. Let's take a look at one from last year's great blockbuster event. tag team in Arizona history again making an open challenge John Roberts I don't know anybody who'd want to fight the tribe 
I don't want to fight the tribe. I'm sure you don't want to fight them. You'd have to be insane to come fight the tribe. It takes a special breed of human being to step in the ring with these two monsters. Championship Wrestling from Arizona. For months, we have been coming out here and proving why we are the greatest tag team in Arizona wrestling history. And now, the Grand Canyon Clash. And the tribe has four simple words. Come fight the tribe. We might be here a while. I don't know if anybody's gonna wanna come out. I don't know who would wanna answer that call. And their opponent from Gravity Hills, California, weighing in at 333 pounds, R3! For months, the tribe have come out here with the four simple words, come fight the tribe. And I'm pretty sure I just saw Navajo Warriors say to Hawaiian Lion, it's about time. These two have been waiting for R3 to answer the call. But here's the question here. You've got two members of the tribe, two athletes of almost similar size to R3. Is this going to be a handicap match? Well, let's not forget what the tribe did to oh, exciting wow, other sandwich. R3 unloading. This is personal for R3. A ruthless start to this matchup. R3 gets the jump start on the Tribe. But still, I mean, he can't expect to go the distance. You've got two elite athletes, the best tag team in Arizona history. As he goes for the cover, this could be a win right R3 here. R3 trying to put away Hawaiian, Hawaiian Lion right away. Well, that's what you want to do in this matchup. As soon as Hawaiian Lion's able to get a, a fresh tag in, R3 is going to be at a major disadvantage. And we know R3, he's had a history of being a tag team competitor. We know that in the past, but... But Navajo Warrior has huh. not been a factor in this matchup. As oh, you see him on the outside, his, his leg a little worse for wear. I'm pretty sure he's hurt. I don't know how much... I, I don't know how effective Navajo Warrior is going to be in this match. I don't know how much of a factor he's going to be. Well, I... I mean, that quick start from R3, I mean, something must have happened. Maybe he tweaked his knee, but there's obviously a lot of pain on the face, a lot of strain for Navajo Warrior as he is grabbing his right knee, and Hawaiian Lion is being decimated by R3. Well, a ruthless attack at the beginning of this matchup from R3, and now a relentless onslaught of attack on Hawaiian Lion. Look, if Hawaiian Lion needs to be in this match and, and, and go solo, we know he can. We've seen him in solo competitions against guys like Robert Baines. He has an amazing background when it comes to jiu-jitsu. So if he can get R3 off his feet, which he's trying to do right there, look at that right there, fighting from the ground. A couple of strikes to the tree trunk-like legs of R3, but not enough to take the big man down. Into the cover could be enough. I mean, R3's really, you can call him R4, that fourth R being revenge, because he's really been on a revenge tour. The last time we saw him, he interrupted what was a classic matchup between EJ Sparks and producer Peter Avalon for the Arizona State Championship. You're absolutely right, and we haven't seen producer Peter Avalon on this program since then. You gotta wonder if R3 put him on the shelf once again. R3 is just such a scary and imposing individual, but Look at Hawaiian Lion refusing to back down. Couple of big right hands, overhand chops, and Hawaiian Lion using his skull as a weapon, but R3 resilient in his attack, never giving up, and now more ruthless offense. You know, they say the best defense is a good offense, and R3 is putting that truth on display inside of that ring. Oh, but look at that. Oh, Hawaiian Lion was unable to get that Saito suplex that he likes to use so much. R3 just too big of a competitor. Just strong and imposing as he, oh, but he gets caught. The veteran Hawaiian Lion takes out the leg. 
Gets his opportunity. There's the tag into Navajo Warrior. And you got to wonder how that leg of Navajo Warrior is going to hold up. I'm pretty sure we're going to get our first glimpse at it right here. Trying to shake the cobwebs. Big man coming through. Big hip attack comes crashing in. Gets the boot across the face. Oh, but look at that R3. Even after getting kicked right in the face. Oh, and Navajo Warrior yeah. is hurt. He is not just feeling a little bit of a twinge. He is in real deal pain right now. Yeah, he's picked a target. Navajo Warrior is hurt. This is, this is bad news. You do not want to stick a wounded animal in a cage with an unleashed monster like R3. A lot of combustible elements here, but Navajo Warrior has the heart of a warrior and will not back down under any circumstance. But, but I mean, Hawaiian Lion even showing a lot of concern on his face. I don't know how I feel concerned well, for Of course for Hawaiian well. Lion's got concern I mean, for his tag team partner. Ooh. These two have been together for decades. Oh. They know each other better than anyone, but a sick, sadistic move there from R3. It, I, I can't applaud it, Joe, but it surely is effective. The way that Look, R3 has turned this into a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Grand Canyon Clash is all about calling your shots, and this is an open call opportunity. And look at R3 just getting those forearm grinding at the face of Navajo Warrior. I mean, he has been a 10 out of 10 on the energy scale, working on rage and adrenaline, but the adrenaline beginning to pump for Navajo Warrior. Is it enough? R3. Ooh. Not too many people could get Navajo Warrior off their feet like that, but R3 oh, is one of them. Can he do oh, it? No. No way. No way is that leg going to hold up. The knee gave out. Even on a healthy leg, that would be challenging for anyone. It's Whoa. a big chop to the face. Opens an opportunity. Here comes a fresh Hawaiian line. He's an, had an opportunity to catch his breath. This could be exactly what they need. And Hawaiian Lion again taking a moment to check on his tag team partner, but that, huge that mistake. momentary lapse cost him. Yeah, huge mistake right there. R it's almost as though R3 just has no, he has no sense of pain today. He's no, able to power through everything. You're absolutely right. I would even venture a guess as saying that any strike that hits him, he's able to absorb that energy and recoil it back out and use his opponent's inertia Ooh. going right back at oh, them. Oh no, oh no. It's, I mean, AZ finale was six months ago. He said six months to think about this, to fantasize about a fatality. No, no way. way. No this way. is not going to happen. The impossible just happened. Your winner of the match by way of pinfall, R3. I'm shocked. I'm stunned. The impossible has happened before us. One man, one mountain of a man, R3, has taken out the best tag team in the entire state of Arizona. This may not have been the best day for the tribe, but R3 was able to capitalize and execute to perfection his revenge plan. R3 is not about winning matches. He's not just about that. He's also about hurting people. And I think he may have heard Navajo Warrior. Folks, we got to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Thank goodness we weren't home. I mean, who knows what would have happened? In your home, you should always feel protected. Call now to receive a complete home security system, including monitoring, starting at just $27.99 per month. Get the protection you deserve with 24-7 fast response. The next 25 orders receive a $100 Visa gift card. Call now to receive this complete home security system and your $100 Visa gift card. Don't delay. Call now. Attention. If you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. 
And we're back here at the world famous Nile Theater in Mesa, Arizona. Jeremy McPeak, and I am joined by Carl Mandic. Carl, thank you for uh, stepping in here and subbing in for Dan Joseph. Jeremy, always a pleasure, alive and amplified. And speaking of which, Dan Joseph. Oh, just rocking those shades. He's just full of energy, full of charisma ever since capturing the United Wrestling Network TV title. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the United Television Championship, and it is your main event! Mandic Watson coming to the ring here to challenge for the United Wrestling Network Television Championship. But Andy, absent uh, from his side. Ty Matthews, where yep. is he? Absolutely, That's, that is the question. Where is Ty Matthews? You have to wonder, will that factor into his psyche going into such a big match, our main event? Will that factor into his psychology? Facing off against Dan Joseph. Of course, we have seen Ty Sand Watson out on his own before, so maybe this is another test, Carl. Certainly could be, but again, will that, I think we'll see from the early onset how the presence of Ty Matthews not being here. Well, ladies be and gentlemen, impact. introducing first the challenger from Glendale, Arizona, weighing in at 215 pounds. He is Watson. And his opponent, hailing from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 201 pounds. He is your United Television Champion, Dan Joseph! And some great work by ring announcer Ben Barnes. Always great to hear him. His voice Call like... the intros for a championship match. Yeah, oh yeah, always good. Like peanut butter and velvet, that man's voice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sure. Anyway, sure. That, that's what I'm saying. Okay. But now here we go with, with, with Dan... Again, we, we go back to it. It's been a Cinderella story of sorts. Look at Dan, hyping the crowd up. He's Just loving it. He's loving every minute of, of this title reign. Absolutely. Defeated Royce Isaacs in our sister promotion, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Many call it an upset. Uh, I mean, coming out of nowhere after, again, a horrific knee injury sidelining Dan Joseph in 2017. And it gets back in the ring. He comes from a rust belt city like Buffalo, but no ring rust on this guy, on Dan Joseph, able to capture the gold. Watson telling him to be well, but instead Dan gives him a high five. And we're underway here in our main event. Oh, early cover right there. Dan Joseph rolling him up for another pin, one, two, no. Again, it's going to be interesting to see if Watson is in it. See, look at his eyes. Look at his body language. Is he searching for Ty Matthews? Is he searching for that? For Even though he has been on his own before, and yes, this could be another test. It's interesting to watch. See, holding off Dan Joseph. He does seem a little out of sorts, perhaps. Matthews, again, a person that led uh, Watson, our sister promotion, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood to the United Wrestling Network Tag Team titles. And Watson just hitting him in the bread basket one after another. Vicious miss. Here he goes, runner back. Oh, missed. Missed the big forearm, and Dan Joseph turns around and chop. Look at that, Dan Joseph on fire, the intensity. Physicality, brutality, call it what you want. Dan Joseph. Oh. Another big chop. Watson's going to be feeling that one. Kind of added a little bit to that chest tattoo of Watson. 
You know, Joseph up and down the big arm drag takedown. Dan Joseph, just so impressive. I mean, a, a guy that, again, is has just fought into a, a, a new level. A, a different side of him has come out since he got that. And let's not understate. Let's just run down some title names, you know, some people that have held the United Wrestling Network television and title. Oh, it's, a who's we, who. it's a who's who. From Rocky Romero, Joey Ryan, Willie Mack, Scorpio Sky, Bateman, Ray Rosas, Peter Avalon. I mean, just a lineage. So this is, to, to have that gold around his waist uh, is just a true accomplishment. And of course, we saw it won here on this program, Championship Wrestling from Arizona. Oliver Grimsley won that title, the TV title, right here in the Nile Theater. At AZ100. Finally, it, finally that fake King in the Midway title got off his waist and he got some real gold. Watson whipping Dan Joseph into the ropes. Oh, Dan Joseph back with the clothesline. Oof. He was Dan it. has defended that title against R3 last month. Levi Shapiro, Ice Williams over in Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. He is proud to hold that TV title. Undoubtedly, a fighting champion will not back down from any competitor, any battle, at any time or any place. Of course, great to have that match here at the world-famous Nile Theater. Voted the best concert venue by the New Times in 2019, Whoa. but also a great venue for championship wrestling and big matches like this. Did he, did he get him in the... I, he got his eye, didn't he? That was a dirty move by Watson. See, those are the mind games that that Time uh, uh, Matthews can teach. A Innovative opposite offense by Watson going for the pin. One, two, no. Oof. Oh, that was close. Wow, that was very close. Almost had a title change here. Momentum changer just by that one dirty move of putting the ref in front. In, I should say, sandwich in between Joseph and, and Watson. Oh, big knee by Watson, putting him in a submission hold. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back with this title match. Stay tuned after this commercial break. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. If you owe 10000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed 87000 in taxes. But listen. Your tax problem is settled. You only owe $3,500. What a great message. I owed $11,000 on my taxes. But now... Congratulations. You only owe $2,068. How's that sound? If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Even if you are already at the point where you're struggling with levies and garnishments, let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. We owe the IRS $48,000. But check out what we actually paid. Are you sitting down? You only owe $3,571. Call 800-715-7197 or go to text10,000.com. That's 800-715-7197. If something happened to you, what would happen to them? Their home, their education, their future. You need life insurance. And chances are, SelectQuote can help you get it for less than a dollar a day. SelectQuote found Jacob 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And SelectQuote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At SelectQuote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. We found Gary, 35, a $1 million policy for only $22 a month. Why pay more? Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Call 800-216-0389 or go to selectquote.com now and get the insurance your family needs. 
at a price you can afford. Select quote. We shop, you save. And we're back here at the world famous Nile Theater in Mesa, Arizona. Our main event, Dan Joseph, the United Wrestling Network television champion, defending the title against Watson. And again, keep in mind, this is a title that can be defended on any United Wrestling Network program under the entire umbrella. And we're talking from Tempe to Tokyo, anywhere across the world. Watson clearly in control right now. Just hammering down, raining down shots on Dan Joseph. Dan fighting back, shoving him off. Still got a little life in him here. Huge. Big drop kick. Yeah, that huge drop kick. And again, you got cover here. Again, you go, uh, you go back to the absence of, of Ty Matthews. It's not so much maybe the physicality that he's taught Watson. It is more the mind games and the psychology of how he can get under the skin of one Dan Joseph. Well, no it, question. Watson is, is an athletic, talented competitor. Has always had success here in championship wrestling from Arizona, but but does seem to have a little, a little edge, a little more aggression, a little more uh, maybe some dirty tactics as we saw there earlier. All, uh, all taught by Ty Matthews. Absolutely, and, and those are invaluable. You, you take those through your entire career. That's something you take with you. Oh, ah. Carl, you brought it up backstage. Watson has been near gold many times here in Championship Wrestling from Arizona. Is today the day? You know, uh, uh, this is the, the thing with that. Touched it, smelled it, he's, he's been right there. He, he, it's funny, again, we're with a guy like Dan Joseph being from Buffalo. Buffalo Bills, they couldn't win the Super Bowl oh, cover up. here. No. You know, four times. It's almost like Watson's at, he's been so close so many times. Is this his time? Is this his night in our main event? I don't know. I really can't, uh, you know, I, I, Dan Joseph is just on such a roll. Absolutely. You know, Carl, he pinned MJF Think about that. here at the Nile Theater for the CZW Championship, but it was reversed. It was. He had that title. I mean, so it, it, it's been in his grasp, it, it, so that's got to be get, getting to him. Another cover here. He, yep, he also won the King of the Midway title from Oliver Grimsley, and then the thing went up in smoke. It just disappeared. Poof. Gone. David Copperfield style. Yeah. One, two, no. One and a half. So, no, that has to be weighing on his mind. And when I did ask him that question, I'm like, you know, you've been so close. What makes tonight different? And, again, I think we see some of the tactics, some of the uh, outside activity that he's been able to bring in uh, on Dan Joseph. Oh, this could be right here. Oh, see, taking too much time there. Taking way too much time. You, Jeremy, you got to think he had to hit that. Busy talking about himself in the third person, and Dan Joseph reverses it. Take Takes it. him down. You have to say taking that much time could be an absolute game changer in this match. You got to watch out for the all the, uh, for the long way down from Dan Joseph, and as of late, hitting what he calls the instant replay at double DDT. They, you know, that, those are just a couple moves that you got to watch out for if he hits those. Good night. My broadcast partner, Dan Joseph, there in the ring, defending the United Wrestling Network Television Championship. He's fired up, right hand, trading blows with Watson. What a main event we got here tonight. Big shots in the midsection there. Take the wind right out of you. Then sidewalk slam. That's a page out of Watson's book. Oof. No, no. Oof. Two and a half. Oof. Dose. You gotta just appreciate the physicality from both of these stars. Absolutely. Of I mean, just uh, the hard-hitting nature that they both both brought to our main event. Joseph getting him up for the big slam, but no. 
Watson turns around, gives him the big knee, and now he's got him up for the tilt of world of oh. B-Well. Could that be it? A new television champion? No, no. And, and, and I don't mean to play the what if game, but what if Watson does win this? And you've got a guy like Ty Matthews. He could take him anywhere across the United Wrestling Network. Yep, Again, absolutely. Defending it anywhere. It, it, it would be like a world, it would be the Watson World Tour, basically, is what I, I would envision Ty Matthews say. This could be the spur. The spear that he, that he is nicknamed the spur. He has looked to hit this. Watson setting him up in the corner. No. Nope, Dan nope. Joseph throwing him up over the ring. Big miss. Another one. Oof. Like he's all hung up. Watson with the big leg drop outside the ring. Shoves it back in. He's going up top. He's got the high flying ability. We've seen it before. Oh, I think things are going to get froggy. Oh, boy. Is that it? Is that it? Hooks him deep. No, no. No. Danny did Joseph gets out. Did he hit? The ceiling of the Nile Theater. Wow! Did any? Almost hit the ceiling. He got fans. up there, folks, for that frog splash. And and you got to think. Moments before that, Dan Joseph had his just midsection bent over the middle rope. He's losing air there, and just got the wind knocked out of him again with that frog splash. But Watson with the last. Sorry, Dan Joseph with the last gasp of air. Oh. Where does he get what it from? Match. He just digs deep at times you don't expect it. When his back is against the wall. Dan now Joseph. Dan Juice, yeah, Going look at up this. Top, upstairs. No. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, Watson got up high with that drop kick. Holy cow. Amazing. You are not kidding me. He got, I mean, he got a couple feet above the top rope. Amazing, Dan was able to hold on to the ropes. He didn't go sailing off into the crowd. Well, this could be a litany of moves. Just, uh, this is such a precarious spot for both of these grizzled nice competitors. Shot. Three quick shots and shoves him down. And again, another single leg drop kick by Watson. Oh, but it's more where Dan Joseph fell on the side of the ring apron, the hardest part of the ring. No, 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 no. Oh, geez, I thought they were coming in to our broadcast booth. Watson, big German suplex. Oh, my goodness. Big German suplex by Dan Joseph. He's got Watson in the corner and a big splash and a DDT. There it is. Got him once. He's going for the second one. There it is, the instant replay. The move so nice, they named it twice. Your winner of the match, and still champion, Dan Joseph! Again, it's a guttural feeling, the transparency of the emotion on Dan Joseph's body emanates. There's an aura around him that spreads from in the ring out of the ring, and the AZ crazies can feel it. Absolutely, and Watson missing his partner, Ty Matthews here. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got to go, but we will see you next week when the Grand Canyon Clash kicks off with Championship Wrestling from Arizona.